Hi, thanks for joining me for another video in our function series. So today we're going to be looking at the split function. We've got a variable name of flow space Joe, and we're going to pass that into our split function. We're actually going to pass in a space too. So why are we doing this? Because we want to split the flow and space Joe at the space. We want to get two names. And what we're going to get back is an array of strings. So we're going to get a string flow and a string of Joe. So let's actually take a look at this in action on Power Automate then. So we start off with a manual trigger and then we set our variable flow space Joe. And then what we're actually going to do is we're going to use our split function that we've just seen before and we're going to pass in the name variable. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pass in a space so that we split the flow Joe up at the space. And then I'm just going to dump the first name and the last name into a HTML table so that we can visualize this. So let's actually get this running there. Let me just hit run flow. Okay, so we've set our variable. We've got our flow space Joe. And obviously we've got the actual space in there. And then we're using the split function to split that up. And we've got an array back. And we've got a string of flow and a string of Joe. So now we can use this in our HTML table to actually display the first and last name, which will be Flo and then Joe. So let's just take a look at the visual representation of this. So there you go. We've got Flo as the first name and Joe as the last name. And that's it for using the split function in Power Automate. And that's how you can actually split a first and last name up with a simple function. That's it from me, Flojo. Check out my blog at flojo.io for more guides on the Power Platform. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.